How do you estimate the addition of fractions? For example, Luis has three-fourths of a cup of water in a bowl. He adds one-eighth of a cup to the bowl. How much water does he have now? In this lesson, you will learn to estimate the addition of fractions with unlike denominators by using a benchmark fraction. Let's review. We can visualize one-half to estimate answers. So for example, we're going to use this model of one-half, and before we actually solve an addition of fractions problem or word problem, we're going to think, should our answer be more than one-half or less than one-half? So we're going to look at what our problem tells us and the sizes of the fraction that it gives us and estimate should it be larger or smaller. Then after we find our answer, you can sort of judge the accuracy of your answer and think, okay, so if I thought it was going to be a lot larger and it turned out to be smaller than one half, then I may want to go back and look at my answer again. So we're not going to be solving any problems today. We're just going to be starting to think about how we estimate our answers. So let's take a look at this one. Thomas eats one-fourth of his pizza on Monday and two-thirds of his pizza on Tuesday. How much does he eat all together? So if we use that benchmark of one-half and we use the fractions that it gives us, we just want to predict right now, will our fraction be more than one-half or less than one-half? The one thing that I notice from this word problem is I'm going to look for my larger fraction. My largest fraction here is two-thirds. And if we think about what two-thirds looks like, Two-thirds is already a little more than one-half. So if we're even adding more to that, we're adding that one-fourth to it, we don't really even have to do that to see that our answer should be more than, should be greater than one-half. So when it actually comes to solving this, we're going to think we predicted our answer was going to be larger than one-half, so let's see what it, compare and see what it, we came up with and see how accurate our answer is going to be. Let's take a look at another one. Luis has one-fourth a cup of water in a bowl. He adds one-eighth of a cup of the water to the bowl. How much water does he have now? So again, we're going to think about what one-half looks like. Um, we're going to pull out our larger fraction first if we're adding it together, because that helps us get to close to one-half as possible. So that would be one-fourth. So we think about what one-fourth would look like on that model. It's still less than one-half. So right now we're thinking, okay, it's going to be less than one-half. So we do, though, need to add eighths to this. So if we think about splitting this up into eight pieces now and adding that one-eighth, which is the cup of water, to the bowl. So we're still estimating, and I would estimate that this would be less than one-half. So when it actually comes to solving our problem, we're going to go back and look and predict, well, we thought this was a little less than one-half, so we're going to compare our answer to what we predicted in the beginning using our benchmark fraction. In this lesson, you have learned how to estimate the addition of fractions with unlike denominators by using a benchmark fraction.